Dave, and it's been a real interesting few days of testing in Bahrain. Ferrari started well, but it was Red Bull who shone through on the final day. Are they the team to beat heading into this new season? Well, it looks like it, Tom. They look very comfortable. They looked uh, happy in the garage. They had reliability and speed. So, but you must never go on testing. Uh, at, you know, you've got you've got some information, you've got some clue, but it can be very misleading testing. We've seen in the past where Ferrari have gone very well in testing, and here we see a picture of Ferrari <laughs> right on cue. They look very good, but what will happen when we get to qualifying? That's really going to be. The, the test. So that's on Saturday uh, evening um, when we'll see qualifying and the, the true pace of these cars. But then that doesn't answer the question either because you've got to also factor in how these cars look after their tyres during a the race. They can be quick in qualifying sometimes and not quick in the race. So it's going to be tight, tight at the front, I think. We can, at least we can say that. Damon, what about Red Bull's new side pod design? Because that's translated into fast times on the track. Can you explain to us how it works? And also, is that going to make a real difference? I, I wish I could explain to you how it could work, because <laughs> then I could make a lot of money as an aerodynamicist. <laughs> but uh, uh, I think, roughly speaking, we can see differences from the outside uh, and as lay observers of these things. It's fascinating to see what they've done, because uh, Ferrari have come up with a very different side pod shape. Um, it looks like a big round kind of, um, some people have described it as a Yorkshire pudding or a, one of those uh, red cheeses that uh, surrounded by wax. Um, it, it's a very round looking thing, whereas the Red Bull has got kind of scallops shapes and uh, the air goes underneath the air intakes for the radiators on the side. Mercedes have gone completely differently. You can hardly see where the radiators are and they've got almost a car that looks like a triangle. Uh, same as uh, as Williams do. So lots of different interpre interpretations. And here we can see that kind of triangular shape you can see I just described um, of the car. And they're all playing with the way the air flows through the car, over the car and to the back of the car to get to the wing and to get the most uh, downforce uh, to make the air be more efficient over the body of the car. So it's lots of interpretations out there, new regulations. They've all been working very hard but they come up with different ideas, which is brilliant for us. Well, yeah, definitely. What, what, what did you think of, of Mercedes' performance? You mentioned them there. Lewis Hamilton has suggested that they're trailing their rivals and anyone who thinks that they are sandbagging is in for a surprise. What does he mean? I think in the past they have had trouble in testing and then gone on to win the first race. You should never discount them. They've won eight constructors' titles on the trot. Um, so they've got the capability. They might not catch up. We've got 22 races, so championship is a long old haul. Um, they might be coming from behind in the first couple of races, but I've learned not to discount them. Um, but they did have a few uh, hiccups. It looked like they had some troubles during the testing. Well, as it stands, the Mercedes Formula One's third fastest team, how do they overcome that now? Working, basically. It's all about time and work so they've got enormous resources but they're limited now on on some of the resources they can actually employ because they brought in budget caps uh, so they can't spend more than a certain amount of time uh, money on their cars they can't employ more more than a certain number of people they can't do more than amount a certain amount of t hours on the uh, on the rig and in fact the teams that do best in the previous season have less percentage time available to them so the guys at the back will have more time um, available to them in wind tunnel testing and stuff. So they, they could close the gap from behind. It could be a really interesting season to see how that pans out. Well, you, you described it earlier as, as a long old season. It is a long old season, but at this stage, can you see anything other than a battle between Hamilton and Verstappen? Yeah, I think we can definitely see Ferrari in the mix. And both cars look, oh, both drivers are very good and the Ferrari looks reasonably good too. So outside of that, maybe McLaren, um, and possibly Toro Rosso from time to time. Um, the Alfa Romeo looked okay as well. So there's, there's competition throughout the field, but I think the usual suspects will be at the sharp end, perhaps with a, a little bit of a stronger Ferrari.